What's going everyone? It's Liam Carrison here as we get into an episode of I Zombie with episode 8 of season 4. Um, I think Liv is playing very, very, uh, well, she's playing within very tricky waters, in my opinion, with the fact that, um, obviously, in terms of her uh, coyote's mission, she is, um, well, trying her best to hide stuff from uh, people within her personal circle. Obviously, Peyton walked in at the end of the last episode with her printing um, fake um, ID cards, and uh, yeah, like I said, it is very, very dangerous in regards to to the current mission she is on, especially with how strict um, things are being in Seattle uh, following uh, Mama Leone's death. So, um, yeah, it's going to be very, very uh, interesting to see uh, when Clive inevitably finds out, uh, to see his reaction, what Peyton's reaction is going to be, um, as well as Major as well, considering he's on the Fillmore Graves paywall, uh, payroll. So, yeah, um, it's going to be very, very interesting to see what does happen in these uh, next upcoming episodes, considering um, I do have an idea about where things could lead towards uh, in, um, well, when we do con uh, conclude this season, but it will uh, be a very, very interesting venture. So with that said, let's get into episode number eight of season four of iZombie. Let's go. You're right, I would. I understand why you're doing what you're doing, and I respect your decision. Wow. Thank you. Which I mean, why I want to be a part of it. Wow. No. Oh, too <laughs> no, risky. I am not letting you risk your but life. But it's good enough for, hey, for Liv. Why is it good for you, but not for me? Drop you off at Moses Lake Correctional. Why well, call it prison? Plus, your family's all outside the wall, right? Let's take a visiting day. You dirty girl. Oh, shit, Peyton. Casper. Damn, Peyton. Oh boy. Time, travel, murder. <laughs> Perhaps the Academy stepped out of the TARDIS seconds before his death. We got a Who reference! What the hell's a TARDIS? Something nerdy. It's the space hey! time vessel from Doctor Who. Time of relative dimension in space. Like a police box. Bigger on the inside. I was hoping for an answer based more on reality. <gasps> well, I'm sure you'll find one. Ravi's a Whovian, I love it. The eats the victim's brain. Oh, dude. In your wheelhouse, oh. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. It's actually called LARPing, and it yes. stands for Live Action Role Playing. So it's like a sex thing. What? 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 Oh, it, it's like D&D, &D, but the players physically act out we their characters' actually actions, sometimes participating in elaborate mock battles and epic storylines. Fear not! Live I action. have slain oh, the rodent fowl. Can you get up, please? Yes, my lord. And stop calling me Malurd. Malurd. Yes. What was that? What was that, Clive? So Garrett's parents gave me the name of his LARPing group, the Guardians of Bonestorm, and the place they had. Guardians. Hang. That seems of like the books. best place to start. If they are acting out battles, that could be how Gary got himself skewered. To Earth's end and back, I would. Accidental, be. maybe. I don't know. He was human. Tis true, noble sir. Undead, he was not. He was pretending. So Jared is now underground. He should have run away. Really? Shock. <laughs> Not the time to be practicing your bard skills, bud. Serious your situation. Gives it gives zombies a true fine dining experience. Yep. Very um. Enough. Very civilized. You're rushing to a sacrament. I want each of you to take one bite. Savor it. Using a fork. Well, son, had the Lord made of rain brains, can you believe it? Surely a remedy will come your yeah, way. Lane is really taking the position of the Lord, isn't he? Scalpel, please. Interesting how he, you know, so oblivious that um, Lane was the one that was... I shall save. This is my most solemn vow. Is, is there someone else I can talk to? <laughs> She's not. Wait, he's uh -oh. Back. oh my god. Thank you so much. Bye. Why do I feel like this is going to end badly? Thus, two promises remain. Let me guess. You slayed a beastly arachnid. I say thee nay. <laughs> I was a phone call most. There is no honor in this? No, probably not. 
Clive is, is here for the LARPing pit fighting. Ooh! Ooh! I examined the body myself. No zombie was he. Uh, there you go. He was just sitting in. Please. <laughs> yes, it's just like Game of Thrones for for Clive. As close as he's gonna get, probably. Why would our gang <laughs> pretend? But we're still us. We're good. It was just Are you? medicinal, like it was for you. Oh. Somehow that doesn't help. They are not gonna stick together by the end of this season. I'm Cowboy just seeing this which is weird because be the Titanic episode Cowboy's by episode hooker's got faulty tear ducts. He's actually a sociopath in a good way Shit so have to bang to get a hot toddy Oh shit That's right Donnie Brother love the Lord spoke Shit. to you about a prison transport bus? Shit! I was trying to solve your brain shortage problem, and uh, I reached a point where I feared I'd fail. Wow! Geo of the Bay Area, I welcome you into the Brotherhood of Zombies. Live undead with a true heart. They are just capturing this knighting process, good. essentially. So I'm gonna cry. Probably make an example out of you, don't you think? No. No? What do you think, Major? Waste him? Oh, no. Call it. Major. Waste him. Major. 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 Tails. Is he gonna lie? Tails. He has to play this as slyly as possible, but fuck Major. Oh. And I won't be in Husband loved Garrett. We all did. Guinevere, I presume. Yes. But also Kathy Krieger? <laughs> you all need to come down to the station in the morning. Just love this. I need to take a statement from everyone I guess Arthur Law. Killing to Garrett you. was unintentional. But leaving his body was a crime. But my yeah. wife wasn't even at the back. But I guess it's well, panic, really. Like, oh, shit, 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 what do we do? What do we do? I'm not gonna lie, that sounds so cool. Very macabre nursery ab song. The digestive tract of a hungry zombie. Oi. The horse's brain. This is Blaine. He'll be eating you tonight. Cry, baby. Well, what you do, man? There you go. You're giving Carl his um, uh, satisfaction. Look at this nice partnership. Who would have thought? Oh! Oh, so it might not have been an accidental murder. Some kind of role play come on. Um, but I literally can't figure out how to take this off. Let me see what we can do. Even if my husband wanted to kill Garrett, it had to be a freak accident. First of all, Garrett is the greatest swordsman in Seattle. It's a fluke that can I mean, to be fair, him. once upon a also, time's Arthur is a bit of a dick, so. Sword. If you wanted to kill someone wearing chainmail, you wouldn't use a broadsword. You'd use something super pointy. Mm, something like, and I'll serve no prison time. I admit nothing. We were LARPers playing a game, and Garrett pretended to be a zombie, and that's how he got himself killed. That's what a jury will believe. So you can keep your pad, detective. Shit. I can't believe my former really, actually really, told us really. Location. I just see in this locker. Well, then where the hell is it? Liv, you can't just bring new people here. You put everyone at risk. Wow. Be vetted. New to you, good sir. Good but Peyton. to me, a lifetime of loyalty. I come bearing gifts. Just the middle finger to blame. How long does it take to kick in? Wait, it, it, it was instantaneous before. Hello? It's usually pretty immediate. Try the other arm. 
Unless... Maybe it's like a, a vein thing. She is too sick to cure. Maybe do her neck. Have you eaten today? Shit. I don't understand. Shit. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Shit, some people just cannot be cured, cannot be helped. What a kick in the stomach. I mean, that does, you know, that does... Come on, focus, come on. Um, No, I was gonna say that does really put a dampener on things, really. Like, when you're not able to... When you're not able to help the helpless, really, and, um... You've got Isabel there just having to accept the fact that, um, yeah, she's going to have to die, really. Why is this focus being annoying? There you go. Don't know why. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a real, real kicker. So, oi. Very, very fun stuff, though, with the LARPing and, you know, Mr. Boss returning as well, because it's been some time since we last saw him. So, um, but you know what? It's it's a case of does it ever drive you crazy just how fast the night changes with Mr. Boss Blaine working together with the fact that Mr. Boss and uh, Blaine have a bit of history, um, which is not too, uh, too jolly um, in the past. So... Um, obviously, it's not jolly days with the fact that paint screwed over um, uh, Blaine. So, uh, but at least Blaine gets to survive this time around. So, yeah, and the LARPing was pretty, pretty sick and rad as well. So, it will be very, very interesting to see what does happen with um, Liv in terms of how this might be a bit of a kick in the... Uh, a kick in the stomach for Liv because um, there is that detrimental side where... Can't save everyone, really. So, then again, in a sense, this might save everyone because um, if she is immune to being scratched, what would would that mean that she might hold the keys? I don't know though because she is dying, so you don't want to, um, unless some I don't know unless somehow um, it can have a, an effect on the zombies, um, like her, uh, I guess, um, uh, sickness can kind of, um, not pose a risk on becoming human again, if that makes sense. Uh, I don't know. I'm just really, really worried about what, which way this might go, because she could be, she could hold the keys for a cure. But there's also the side where, um, you know, that, uh, illness that she is carrying might come back and bite uh, like if you do um cure these people using isabel um her illness might um you know be redirected to those who were a zombie who, who might be cured and you don't want that so i don't know what's gonna happen like there's got to be a way to kind of isolate things in terms of her being immune to being scratched um and you know not have the illness carried over with that i don't know i don't know um but this could be a game changer if all things go according to plan um so yeah but we'll just have to wait and see um what does happen so uh, i just i i can just see the fact that well it does suck that um she cannot be scratched at the minute but she might be a game changer for the for for the zombies who were once human um who yeah that she she could be um the key to holding the key uh, she could be the key to holding the cure for those who might want to become human again but the uh, caveat is that people might get more uh, more more sick etc they might carry the illness that she had i i can just see this going down a very very um, kicking the balls kind of way, really. So this this is going to have ramifications, but we'll just have to wait and see what does happen. But no, good episode. Um, I do kind of wish that some things were a bit different in this episode, like it could have been an accidental murder, really. Um, but I guess it kind of fits with the whole King Arthur shtick as well, um, especially the lore as well with Guinevere and, and Lance. That was her thing, wasn't it? So... 
um, yeah, with Arthur taking, well, with Arthur taking things to the extreme in terms of, um, um, Killing Garrett, I think his name was, yeah, um, uh, I guess it kind of does make sense. But I would have loved, um, like, there to be a bit of... Co it would be a bit different, wouldn't it? An accidental murder, really. Um, especially with the misconception that he was a zombie, but um, he was actually human. I feel like that would have been really, really great in terms of a narrative perspective, in terms of... Because there are... It's not the first time someone's, uh, I guess, tried to pretend to be something that they're not. Uh, as well as the fact that it fits well with the LARPing experience, really. But, um, yeah, it could have been an oh shit moment where, you know, someone pretends to be a zombie. Like, hey, I'm a zombie, so you could do this, etc. Um, and in actuality, he was human. So, um, like, it does obviously create drama and whatnot, as well as add to Clive's story with the open relationship uh, in terms of Garrett being actually human and... Um, um, we know that, um, um, yeah, we know that the, the person that Garrett was sleeping with, um, yeah, like she was, um, like she was human as well. So there was like that kind of, yeah, but, um, yeah, like I said, I feel, I don't know. I feel like it would have made a bit more, it would have, it would have worked well, like with this accidental murder, like, oh no. Um, but it does add to Clive's story, I guess. So I don't know. That's the, that's, that's how uh, I thought this was going to go. But I guess it does kind of build upon the complications with Clive's story with Dale, uh, with the fact that, um, you know, Kevin, he, he's a zombie, um, Garrett's a human who was pretending to be a, zo a zombie, but he kind of used that in a sense to, to like with the fact that Kevin's partner uh, was human, he he kind of used that to um, I guess her benefit in a sense since she couldn't really sleep with uh, him. Um, so yeah, um, and uh, yeah, I I I I like I said, I don't see with Clive's relation. I feel like with that text message as well and. Uh, I guess um, the murder of the week. It kind, I it kind of does enhance things in terms of my um, belief that things are not going to end well with. Cl I mean, we had that kerfuffle last week, didn't we? Um, with Clive and and Dale, and uh, it's just escalating things in this uh, episode. So yeah, but I also wish that Clive was, um, you know, I don't know, kind of got a bit invested with the whole LARPing thing because. It does kind of bring the whole D and D things to life in a sense. Um, you know, the live action role play adventure. I mean, we saw how Clive was very invested um, um, with D and D. Like, obviously, it did take some convincing at first, but eventually we got there. So yeah, and then I don't know. It it kind of like took a bit of a back. Uh, like it it kind of took a bit of a few steps backwards in terms of um, how Clive approached the whole laughing thing. So. Yeah, um, so I don't know. Because I, I, like, I haven't personally, um, I guess, LARPed, um, really. I haven't um, really gone out there and uh, been, uh, be Balasar or Raiden, um, my D&D characters, by the way. <laughs> uh, and um, I guess portrayed them to life with all the props and all of that. Um, but I can see that being as, um, if anything, as fun as the whole D&D &D thing, because I do love my D&D. &D. Um, but it, 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 I don't know, there's something about putting on a costume, of course, and pretending to be that character that really does um, fuel you, etc. So, um, like if you go to like a Doctor Who convention thing, even Bob, or the Doctor Who experience, or uh, Rip, um, or even Worlds of Wonder, like if you put on that, like... Uh, 11 Doctor costume stand in front of the TARDIS. That brings so much chills, doesn't it? So, I don't know. Um, but, you know, that's just, um, you know, my... Uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, obviously, um, like, I guess, with the whole open... Uh, if we're basing this around Clive, like, the whole open relationship, things are a bit different. I mean, um, so, like I've said, like, in terms of open relationships, some people handle things um, good, some people are just not comfortable, like Clive with the idea. So, yeah, but... Um, yeah, I also really do like a little bit of a side note. Um, I do like how we had Ravi explain Doctor Who, I guess, to, 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 um, Clive. Like, that was so, so, of course, Ravi is a Whovian. Uh, why, why, like, how could that be any different, right? So, 
Yeah, I don't know. It, it just warms my insides uh, about the prospect that you had Ravi explain Doctor Who to Clive. So good. Uh, anyways, digressing away from that. Uh, yeah, um, I was really, really surprised with Peyton being on Liv's side, to be fair. Um, I guess the little kerfuffle with her finding out about Major last week um, kind of you know, pushed her to be like, you know what? I, I see what Liv's doing and I can respect that. But no, I, I, I thought things were going to be a bit awkward coming into this episode. So I was really, really surprised with the with the idea that Liv, uh, that we had Peyton join um, Liv's organization, really. Um, so and, and the fact that she is helping them, even with the money situation. So, yeah, I'm just really, really worried about um, the potential for, um, I mean, obviously we had... Um, Angus's group and and uh, Fillmore Graves that's potentially going to catch fire but I am really worried about how um, Blaine uh, is potentially going to retaliate against uh, Peyton because obviously um, the guy that Peyton was speaking to um, his braids have been ate by Blaine so I don't know if he's had a, I don't think I think we would have seen it if uh, he's had a if he had a vision of the prisoner talking to Peyton but um even before that the prisoner already knew anyway so um he's relying on that knowledge but what happens when Blaine finds out that uh, he was speaking to Peyton that's gonna you know it's gonna be bad isn't it so yeah but um, we'll just have to wait and see what does happen with that front. But yeah, like I said, I am really, really um, excited to see uh, Peyton being more involved with um, Li with Liv's coyote um, uh, situation because um, it's not something that I was expecting. Um, and not just that though, but you know, given Peyton's occupation, it does pose a bit of a a bit of a you know, like a little bit of a risk to her, um, to her job, doesn't it? So, um, but, you know, um, she is willing to help live out, um, in any means possible, really. So, um, yeah, I really, really did like uh, the fact that she is, um, pushing with that efforts on making a difference and, uh, is wanting to help live out, um, seeing how she is making a difference to people's lives, so obviously this is still leading to a very detrimental outcome i feel but no it is really really great that um she is um pursuing that positivity by um helping live out um into in terms of her creating a bit of a difference so no i really really do like that with Peyton. um and i really did like the whole um blaine situation i was surprised to see mr boss return in this episode um, as well as the fact that you have a nice, I guess, cozy relationship. Um, well, I wouldn't say cozy, but it makes a difference from, from, uh, Mr. Boss killing you all the time, I guess. So, yeah, obviously things didn't pad out, uh, Blade's way, thanks to Peyton. Um, but, um... It was very, very interesting how Blaine was able to use his father. Um, like, obviously, there is no love lost between um, Blaine and Ang uh, Angus, but uh, he was um, able to use um, his father, not just in terms of, I guess, um, creating a very, very detrimental effect to him, but also being able to kind of help out his business, because obviously with Angus and his group, they're getting a bit of freebies anyway, so this will keep uh, Angus away, really. He, he'd rather see the back of him, to be fair, so this kind of keeps him away, in a sense, and, you know, maybe a few zombies go down, but it's not his problem, really, so, yeah. Um, they are devoted to Angus, so they are part of the problem for, for Blade, so, yeah. Um, and then we also have Major as well, who um, we saw him being pally pally with Russ, of course, um, continuing to um, try to pry to Russ. And the, there were a few, uh, there were a few, um, there were a few hairy moments uh, in this um, episode with Russ and Major, especially when Russ was figuring out, why are you talking to Liv? Uh, I mean, there could have been a way in terms of Major saying, bro, she's my ex. So, yeah. Uh, but I guess that could, like, when things do um, shit the bed, um, inevitably, um, you know, Russ, Russ could have used Liv as a little bit of a vulnerability for Major, potentially. So, um, keep your tracks cleared. But, um, 
yeah, Mage is continuing to play a bit dangerously here. So, yeah, but no, um, neat stuff. Um, like I said, loved the LARPing situation um, and uh, loved seeing the return of Mr. Boss with Peyton being involved and a prospect that we might have a new leeway for a cure for good, potentially. There are complications, granted, but I'm sure we'll, you know, um, work out the kinks etc in terms of like um any kind of uh, ramifications we, we 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 can wiggle our way out of that right right uh, we'll see but yeah um i will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and i will see you guys next time toodles